As we've discussed, obesity and its associated diseases is a major public health crisis in Western society. Therefore, being able to understand and predict whether an individual is at risk for obesity is of critical importance. In this video, we're going to describe what we mean by the heritability of obesity. And we're going to explain some of the data between twin and sibling studies that informs our understanding of how heritable obesity is. Obesity is an extremely heritable condition. From twin and family studies, it is estimated that obesity is about 77% heritable. That means if we have information about the parents and siblings of a particular individual, we can predict their obesity risk with about 77% accuracy. That makes obesity one of the most heritable complex traits in all of human physiology. It also means that knowing the family history of obesity, knowing whether the parents or siblings are obese, is an extremely strong predictor of the risk of obesity. It also means that there is very likely underlying genetic causes that we can understand to specifically predict the risk of obesity. The first study I want to describe is a series of adoptees, and this is a study done in Denmark. Focus here on the full siblings here shown in yellow. If you look at the right-hand side, you can see if one sibling is obese, the other sibling is also very likely to have a high BMI. If we look at the left-hand side of the graph, you can see that if one sibling is thin, the sibling is very unlikely to have a high BMI. Remember, these siblings have very similar genetics, but since they're adopted, they're raised in quite different environments. As the genetics is the major driver of obesity risk, you can see within full siblings, there's a high correspondence between the obesity of one and the obesity of the other, independent of their environments. These relationships are also true for half-siblings, either on the maternal or paternal side, but as you can see in the two graphs on the right, the correspondence is much weaker. That's because the genetics of half-siblings are less similar than the genetics of full siblings. Another example is a study looking at twins. This study here was done in Sweden. It's looking at monozygotic, or identical twins, and dizygotic, or fraternal twins. And it's looking at the correlation in their BMI between twins that are reared together or reared apart. If you focus in for the men, you can see that the interpair correlation between monozygotic twins reared together is about 74%. However, if they're reared apart, it goes down a little bit, but it's still highly, highly, highly concordant. Whether monozygotic twins are reared together or reared apart, there's a high correspondence in their BMI. If we look at the dizygotic or the fraternal twins that have similar but not identical genetics, you can see the correspondence in their BMIs is much lower. What this tells us is if the twins are of identical genetics, their obesity risk is very similar. Whereas if the twins have similar but not identical genetics, their obesity risk is lower. To summarize, this graph pulls together data from several different studies. First, if we compare adoptive versus non-adoptive siblings. Adoptive and non-adoptive siblings differ in that they may have similar genes or different genes, but they live in the same environment in the case of non-adoptive twins, but a different environment in the case of the adoptive twins. If you can look at the difference here, you can see moving to a similar environment increases the correlation in BMI from about 0.05% to about 30%. That's the effect of the environment, somewhere around 30%. On the other hand, if we look at twins, fraternal twins versus identical twins that live in the same environment, you can see now in this case, we're talking about people who either have the exact same or similar genes, in the case of identical twins, the exact same genes, and live in the same environment. If you look at the graph on the right, you can see that from studies on identical twins, who live in the same environment, there's about a 77% correlation in their BMI. Overall, what I've told you is that many studies, and I've just shown you a couple, using both twins and sibling data sets have shown that obesity is extremely heritable. This means that knowing the family history of obesity is a very strong predictor of obesity risk. It also means that we can understand the genetics, the individual genes that cause obesity in individuals. 